Well, when Captain Cook first saw the Cooks River, he said it was a fine stream of fresh water. So it was unpolluted then, and Aboriginal people lived here for thousands of years. And across the road at Cup and Saucer Creek, that's what it used to look like, you know, less than 100 years ago, like, like you're up Blue, Blue Mountains, you know, with a waterfall. There was a boat place at Tempe. People used to come out from Sydney and picnic on the river. They'd hire out boats and go boating and fishing and swimming. It was a natural river, then it became a kind of a concrete drain for all the rubbish and all the, all the tanneries and all the industry around the area and now we're trying to make it back into a, into a river again. We need to get rid of the pollution but we also need to have people look at the things differently so that we don't create pollution in the first place, you know, we don't have so much rubbish. So it's making people understand a connection with the river and everything we do, any rubbish we drop anywhere will finish up in the river. So hopefully people's attitudes will change and the river will be able to be a real river with lots more life in the river, the birds and the fish, and we'll be able to swim in the river. We say we're Cooks River people, the fact that we, this is our country and we want to look after it, like you look after the area like you look after your home where you live. I've lived alongside the river for about 30 years and after a while I think you feel like you're part of the river and it's part of who I am and so I get a lot of satisfaction out of bush care and doing things to help the river. Yeah.